<laughs> this is sick. The fuck are the vending machines, bro? It's literally a side quest. I'm literally doing side quests and I can't find shit. Oh, that's like a press conference room. Okay, that's the front. Hey. You know, worst case, you just join the clean boys, right? True, Saikuno, true. Crazy sauce. Thanks for another five gifted subs. Okay, I don't think it's that office. Wait, Jed's here? <laughs> What's up, Jed? Uh, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Do you know where I can get a sandwich around here? I have a sandwich. Oh, do you also happen to have some cigarettes? I do not. I'm sorry. Oh, no worries, ma'am. Thank you. All right, one quest found unlocked via player to player interaction, not even player to NPC. Excuse me, sir. I'm afraid I do not smoke. Oh, that's all right there, brother. Thank you. Yeah, these are like the early missions. And of... oh, is that you, Mendoza? What? Yeah, what's up? Uh, Police Chief Bass needs cigarettes, and I'm on a quest to get him cigarettes. He don't have any cigarettes, do you? Oh, uh, no, I think you might only be able to get those from the farmer's market. Actually, there might be a locker I could check. Let me see here. What the fuck is a farmer's market? Very far north. PDB about 1071 Mutiny Road. <laughs> um, I have a feeling. What's up? Do you need some food? Shots came from a midnight blue. Uh, I do not. Do you need some food, Clay? He's I gave him my cigarettes. Not aware of us having them in any lockers. We did at one point, but they're all gone. Yeah, see you yeah, on Reddit, Judd. Yeah, used to have a cigarette locker. I don't know which locker it was, though. I can't find it. Oh, maybe... No, fuck. It's not 300. That's Angel's call sign. Hmm. I think it would probably be under Wrangler if it was under anyone. I'm not going to steal Wrangler's cigarettes, though. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, looks like, yeah, you're going to have to go find maybe Dean's World or the Farmer's Market, I guess. I have a fucking car. Who are you want me to take you? Uh, let me see if a sandwich is enough. Maybe they won't need the cigarettes. What is it? Well, Bass is interrogating some woman high on some fucking shit. And he want a yeah, sandwich and cigarettes. I, I only got a sandwich. Uh, it's what I <laughs> yeah, I'm then. Same thing, honestly. He gets yeah, stressy. You know, one ten forty one oh four twelve. Yeah. Welcome aboard. Do you think I'm the root of something? I never said that. Hold. I got a sandwich. I'm working on the cigarettes. There you go, ma'am. Uh, I got a cigarette. Do you want it? Thank you. Yeah, I'll take them. All right. Sure. Oh, you had a joint. You smoke and um, blaze. I have a very bad problem with smoking. I have a seat, Cassandra, whenever you're done. Right. You can, actually, you can smoke when you're standing, huh? Whatever works for you. Okay. So, what is it that you're actually trying to find out about this syringe? I want to know where you got this needle. I have. Come on, it came from you. Along with the uh, fact that you had Uzi on you. Do you, uh, do you typically carry a class 2 on you all the time? No. Then why now? I don't know. Felt like uh, people were on one today. When I drove hmm. by the south side and there was Air 1 over, what, Forum? Yeah, yeah there was a massive there was a massive shootout with GSF okay, in the cops. Yeah, mm -hmm. freeway with a black I was there. It was crazy. Car, to be occupied one time. So I was there too. Was it was wicked. A little bit extra seeing that happen on that. Just kind of casually on the street. Let's see. What does he do for a living, Cassandra? I'm a mechanic. Mechanic. Yeah. Uh, where at? Iron Hog. What do you do at Iron Hog? I fix bikes. Bikes. Mechanics do. Let's see. Do you work anywhere else? Uh, digital den. Hmm. It always strike me as you know, as a violent felon or somebody who's out there is pretty violent. I'm looking at your prior, he's only got GTA, reckless evading. I mean, evading is pretty bad. Negligent driving, robbery, financial institution. Nothing too crazy. I don't see any like uh, assault. Wait, what am I supposed to do, Judd? So. 
I don't Have like you ever shot people. somebody before in the past? No. A question. What's GTA? Grand Theft uh, Auto. Yeah. Now, you do have a weapon. They license. said the line, chat. They said you it. Feel like the Uzi was necessary. <laughs> Would I hear class two shots happening? Then yeah. I feel like and it's do you typically switch from a class two to um class one? Sorry, what am I saying? Typically switch from an Uzi. I think so. The subs to um a weapon. What were you asking me to do, Judd? I, I chat's moving too fast. Mm, what kind of weapon do you mean? Like a like a licensed firearm. I mean, typically, I just carry five gifted subs to randomly like spit shine no, Bass's that, head. More going on. Part of an EMS. Little done. Hold on, give me a second. Do much to stop it. So you went back to your house and grabbed it. Four at thirty seventy six. No. Cover that four thirty. Dude, for five gifted, <laughs> that's fucking yeah. Don't, of course, I'll Where'd you get the Susie from? Friend. Oh, friend. <laughs> Let me guess. Maybe the same friend that shot up police? I have a few friends. Hmm. Can you name one? Because mm. from the sound of it, the way you explained it to me, it sounded like you went back home and dropped off your license firearm and grabbed an shop, Uzi. Shop. Expletive. Tell Sounds me. like you're jumping through a lot of hoops. What's that going to be for the shootout? Something where you just want to know or something or about a syringe that I allegedly had. About to arrive, well, I like to cover all bases, you know, from home base, the first base, second base, and third base, and way back, right? So. IRS, thank sure you for the really 20 know. gifted. Our and cross our T's here, right? Holy so, shit! That's all covering the class two, being uh, Uzi. Who's your friend that gave it to you? At, uh, Abe Milton. Wild. Uh, he doesn't really Abdelang? tell people his real name. You, uh, you John Lang Judd, I gotta find the right Thank time. Jamerson. John Jamerson. Trust me, I know not to interrupt interrogation yeah, RP. Yeah, okay, all right. Someone go check it out. Does he exist or is he a ghost? Well, have some one, people uh, might think he's a ghost, but I can assure you he's real. Hey, uh, I don't see any John Jamerson here in my MDW, so. I'm gonna be out with the, Does he uh, work somewhere? No. Not anymore. Hmm. What do you mean not anymore? Uh, like I haven't seen John back. Jamerson in about... Until the day where he left everything. I oh, good, recovery. Like good recovery. Good recovery, Cassidy. You're doing really well, actually. You haven't seen the guy forever, but he pops up out of nowhere, and then boom, behold, an Uzi. Come on, now, really? Come on, Cassidy. John you you expect to believe that, Cassidy? Come on. Moon. If you oh, knew John man. What like is he? I do, you what is he, a Santa Claus for Uzi? Is he is like a ghost? Is he coming down a chimney and giving you a goddamn class two? Is that how it works? I mean, I need a guy like that in my life, for sure. Somebody can come in and give me a goddamn <laughs> Uzi and fuck off. Hey, I'll uh, hook you up with his number once we're out of here. Maybe he'll can I have his phone number now? No, he doesn't really operate with phone numbers. What's going on, Kelvin? Oh, what's going on there, man? Sorry, I yeah. was just uh, seeing how things were going. So what do, what do we got going on here? What's uh, what's the case on this one here? What do we got? We got Cassidy. Oh, Cassandra, sorry. Man. I was like saying Cassidy. Cassandra Cage. Uh, okay. Who was um, hmm. fleeing from cops in a traffic stop. She happened to have an Uzi on her. Along with um, the this shooting, they moved the 47. Right, um, meta uh, morphine? Also, uh, meta morphine? He might have been yeah. a runner or something. What Don't the fuck it. is this? Hey, Do man. not take it. It will melt your skin. Well, it's also hell? illegal too as well. <laughs> Sorry there, Bass. You got a little something on your head. I got to polish off Thank real you. fast there, brother. I got you. Hey, I got you, man. Just got to keep nice so, and shiny. Right now, we got... You mind getting mine too? Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got you, sir. Anytime it takes seat, I got you. They call us the bald boys. Wax on, wax off, all right? Thank you. That's right. You know, worst case, so you we just got, join the clean boys, uh, Cassandra right? Cassandra here saying that her friend, John Jameson, who does not exist, <laughs> somehow, uh, after being gone for a long time, came back and decided to be so generous you by offering her an Uzi. Uh, what is this exchange wow. take place? Uh, thank you, really Judd, for the five spirituals of the five whale lotus for the five. I don't give a fuck! <laughs> There's a lot of questions. Yeah, I don't know. Know. We're not well, like I said, we're oh, just covering all base here, right? So, so it is. When you walk in to buy a house, right? Are you looking at the outside or are you looking at the inside, right? In life, when you buy uh, just a package of grapes, right? Are you looking at one grape or all the grapes?
right? All of See, them. See, what Bash is trying to do here is look at all the greats, okay? okay We've back. already identified some of them look fine, but we need to see if the others look fine or if they do not look divine. Do you get what I'm saying here? Yep, and then because if one of them looks bad, and it's going to affect everything else, right? It's no exactly, bad. exactly. It's like a virus, right? Right. It's, mm -hmm. like, a, it's like a virus. You, know, you download it. Everything's fine at first, but then, you know, it, it starts seeping its way in you know what i mean getting to all the grooves you know what i'm saying finding itself and all the other programs next thing you know you're in valorant boom banned why because you had a virus cheating virus it's it's holy it's, shit it's, it's quite the thing to be honest I've, what I've heard the a lot fuck about are it. you I talking about it. brother you hate to see it you hate to see it who who the fuck is this guy again a potential new hire a pd applicant needs to get a fucking haircut tell you that you ever think about going bald? Being a part of the bald boys? Hell no, brother. Keep my hair long, just like our Lord and Savior. I'll tell you where I got the syringe. That's the only thing I'm gonna tell you. Occupying it, but I've been passing out metamorphine at Dean's world. Break. A unit on Radio Channel Seven are looking for that. You seem like you're concerned about the fact that brought this big van. And your story's not making sense. The clown van. Don't stop the van. Advise the unit on Radio Channel Seven. I can assure you that John Jamerson is very real. Good bench will go and tell Channel Seven. Dude, Tony is just way too good at RP. You buying this bullshit? We're buying this bullshit. Hmm. Do you think that's what we're in the market for? Going eastbound, eastbound, way Do you think I came in here to be in the market for bullshit? If this is when we I think you came in here because you wanted to be involved in something that Bass was perfectly capable of handling on his own. Well, here's the thing, okay? Copley Owen is um, an elite police officer in the Blaine County Sheriff's Office, right? right? He's, um, that's right. His ability to, his ability to decipher through bullshit is very important here. That's right. Plate should be back so, one. so Sandra, I wanted to build up five, some one. good faith. Okay, I've I talked did. with you. I haven't requested a lawyer. I could have, right off the bat, not talked to you at all. I will tell you where that syringe came from, and then that's it. Negative plate doesn't match. Okay, we'll uh, start from there then. Have a match. seat. Um, no, I'm gonna stand. Suspect is on the phone. Why is that? It's sitting. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking duo, bro. Okay. Go ahead. Holy shit! It's a multicolored clown car driving around town. One guy in it, dressed up like a clown. You pull up to him, you honk your horn, he gets out, and he'll just give you one. Is it a fucking clown car driving around giving you drugs? Wait, are you serious? Yes. I mean, it Did sounds like something straight face? out of a movie. As wearing a yellow jacket, white face paint. Oh, he's a clown. Been... Oh, no. It's oh, my God. A clown. What else is he giving besides the needles? Anything else or no? Just that. Is he talking to you at all? Is he making noises like clown noises, like playing with his horn? Or not horn, sorry, his noise? He didn't make any noises. Made a comment that... Uh, it's just like, here you go, mm. try to find out what that is or something like that. I don't remember. So we look like a clown. He literally got out of the street, middle of the street, out of his car. It's like here. And just left. And when did this take place exchange between you and a clown? An hour and a half ago, two hours, something like that. Do you typically okay. approach clown cars with a creepy clown out of it, giving you something? Is that is that like something you like doing or something you just... Thought, hey, this could be something I want to try. Oh, sounds like a good Tuesday night to me. Stoplight. I thought he got you out. need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you need to take this seriously, okay? Because if not, I will tell you right now, I will make sure you're not an officer of the law, okay? We are in an active <laughs> situation, okay? We are trying to figure out what's going on here. We had a clown, God damn it. Sir, yes, drugs sir. to this fine lady right here, and you think this is a laughing matter? You think this He's is right. a joke? He's right. This guy you need to goddamn getting... get a grip, son. I mean, this is in the context of it being a clown, mean that it is a laughing matter? Speak? Did I say to speak? Did I say to speak? Shut your goddamn mouth. Learn some goddamn respect. Go on, ma'am. I'm sorry. I guess the stop the stoplight. 
<laughs> put it on the ground. It's like here. I fucking love Tony, dude. Ask for anything in return, no cash, nothing like that. Uh. Nothing. <laughs> wow. huh. And uh, sorry, what did you say the timeline was as far as like from now until from the point you got arrested? How many hours? From I now? fucking love Tony. It was a few hours ago, like two hours ago. I'm bad with time. I see. So when you got this needle, what was your thought process? What was going through your head? Uh, what the fuck is this? Did you ever think about injecting the needle into your vein? Oh, it literally says just Google it on the needle, and I hadn't Googled it. I see. Huh. What was the next step when you got the needle? What were you thinking? I was going about my day, not really caring. Carrying the needle on you? I mean, most people either throw that shit Guys, away. I literally or just made this else, character. Right? I hadn't been doing too much between getting the needle and then you pulling me over. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, let me get your charges. Uh, your story checks out, actually. Uh, we had a report about this, so you are telling the truth. I'm reading an incident report that took place where a clown uh, described to a team, like you said, pulled up and gave somebody a needle. So you're not lying to me. Let's get the... Arrest warrant out the way, real quick. I'll read out the charges right now. It's gonna be reckless evading, joyriding, and second degree speeding. How do you how do you plead that? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Okay. So I'm gonna check your process. I'm gonna bill you. It's gonna be a bill of two thousand three hundred seventy-five. All right. Now on to the charge that happened today. Let me get that set up and written up real quick. You're looking at one count of reckless evading. Resisting arrest. I'm going to ask if I can explicitly uh, get a fucking uh, PD, like, vapid uh, truck. I want, like, a PD fucking lifted and then truck. And the PC for the stop was negligent driving. I'll take a few months, driver. but that's eventually what Which I want. Two points in drive lessons. You guys imagine that the fucking giant right. fucking lifted truck is a PD. And I'm not vehicle. gonna charge you with yeah PD Sam King. Um, the needle because you did cooperate and tell the truth. It's gonna come to a total of 51 months and a fine of 4,075. How do you plead guilt? How do you plead these charges just right off right now? Not guilty. PD Sam King, yeah. Okay. Since you've been here for a long time, it would have been a total of 71 months. I'm one knock it down to 30. You okay with that? Just send me in for 71. All right. Hey, fair enough. Okay. Bill now, I just want to touch back on what you said. You said that there was, it was a man looking like a clown, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, copy. If you pull up report number, what was it? Hold on. Well, I got to see, I got a couple things because I was on my way over here and I, I, I seen a man who fit that description quite well, to be honest. Um, So black suit. Usually, uh, I don't know, maybe a little spiky hair, pink mask. Does that ring any bells? Hmm. Black suit? No. Black suit, pink mask, uh, kind of, I don't know, Sounds like, like an anime type pussy. vibe. Yeah, yeah, like that. He's got kind of like an anime type mask because he looked like a fucking clown. It was like a, it was like a pink mask. Black suit, ring any no, bells? I think like you would order a clown for your kid's birthday from Wish. That's what this guy looked like. Okay, okay, all right. So definitely not that guy. Gonna have to X this guy off my phone yeah. here. No black okay. All right, all right. No, no problem. <laughs> yeah, pull up report number two seven five four two. That's for that's for, that's for the clown. Okay, um, I'll get everything written up here. Uh, you're gonna be looking at seventy three months, like I said. Let's get that done. You gonna ride along with me, big boy? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, do you consent to having a DNA? Yes, sir, I will. No. Okay. Especially right. if Bass says that you're one of the best. I'm trying to learn from the best. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I got you. Well, you're Bass taught me everything drive I know. When it comes to Cop Leon, because his ability to um, drive out there on the, on, the, on the streets is just 
Nothing can compare to it. It's quite the experience. Oh, I think I'm Drank. something of a driver myself, actually. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, tell you what. Maybe we'll head over to like a little track or something. Maybe let you let you see what you could do or something. Maybe you can impress me. <laughs> well, I got to go get some stuff and then uh, so we'll meet 70, me in the garage. 71 right? months right. and 142 per roll. I got my math wrong. 71 months and 142 per roll. See okay. you around, Bass. See you, brother. You take care. Do you have any questions, comment, concern with us, engine? Not today. All right. Take care, Cassandra. So whenever you send a suspect um, to the local DOC, DOC from PD, you can have one inmate coming your way going to be um, Cassandra Cage looking at 73 months, uh, number two female, got brunette hair, wearing a black mask, black and black. All right, so I'm going to hand you off to Capleone because I'm probably going to be going forward to it anytime soon here. But I really enjoyed my time with you, Clay. I um, feel like you're going to fit just right in the PD. I would definitely recommend you toss um, an application in. Oh yeah, brother, I will do. And then, and then throw my name as a recommendation when it comes to the application, right? Will do. And hopefully, T and T will be able to contact you as soon as possible and get you um, everything set up, right? So, sir, it was a privilege to ride with you. See, man in blue, do what you did for this city, for this country. Beautiful, makes me want to serve as well. And I'll try not to call the suspects pussies. I'll call them income poops. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if you know the person, I don't have an issue with um, the banter between you and the person. However, I don't want it to where um, it escalates into a shootout and a traffic stop. Because a lot of officers... You think someone would shoot an officer? That's insane. Absolutely. I don't believe that happens here, brother. Here's the thing. Egos around here are pretty <laughs> fragile. So the second you bruise it, somebody will come out of the car with a class two and just blast you in the face. That's the way of saying, hey, What's a class I two? You. You know, um, high power weaponry like an AK 47. Uh, oh, okay, got it. This M4 I have, something like that. Like, you know, holy like, shit, like an assault rifle, right? How can I get me a class three then? Class three is like an LMG or something of more like, um, probably like a sniper rifle. Okay, how do I get me a class four? That's an explosive, an RPG. We don't have those yet. Okay, how do I get, get me a class made? five? <sighs> I think it's a tank or a fighter jet. Do we have point. a tank? No, but we have a rhino. What the fuck is a it's rhino? Close enough. Uh, it's an animal, it's brother. Like a, it's like an animal. Uh, no, it's not an animal. Sorry. Oh my god, you got to think about animals. It's like a, it's like an, an armored vehicle, basically. Uh, that has that has like bullet resistant um, windshield and doors and windows. Okay, how do I get to drive that? I want to drive that. Uh, you got to be part of SWAT. So maybe one day. Anyways, I'll hand you off to Copleone. Good work today, Clay. I hope you learned something from me. I, I learned a, a lot. Thank you of... so much, sir. Appreciate it. And, uh, well, it's good. That's good. That's good you learned. I wish I got more opportunity to kind of show you more around, but when you become a cadet one day, I think I'll definitely get more time with you and we can practice things and have more of a hand-on experience. Like I was saying, I was trying to be pretty quiet. Just try to absorb everything, you know? Feel it in. Get the aura of justice around me. That's right. You got to be a sponge sometimes, right? You got to soak all that knowledge so one day you can apply it. I love soaking up knowledge in porous ways. All right, let's fucking go, brother. Hey, dipshit, right. you ready? Where's he at? All right, Kona, you ready or what? Hell yeah, brother. Is it Clay Kona? Clay Kona, that's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, copy him. Don't get him in trouble because he's trying to play. Nah, I won't. Don't worry. All right, he's not even a cadet, right? No, no, he's just a ride along right now. I, I, I just him, got into the city today, brother. I give him today? permission okay. to go on the radio so he can hear the comms. So he, he can hear everything. He's got the okay. same kind of right. ability you have when it comes to a radio, so he can hear everything. All right, that sounds good. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'll take care of him. I'll see you later, Bass. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, Clay. Should have finished your report real quick. What did you say uh, your name was? Cop Leon? Yeah, you can call me Cop Leon. Oh, uh, nah, we're all right. We're probably going right. to go over to Burger Shop, show him around the ropes or something. See you later, guys. All right, Bye. Man, take care. See ya. 
All right. Come hop in the demon. Let me lock this up. Oh, the demon. That's right. What is this? Is this the cat? Whatever. Is this the dodge? Yep. That's right. Yep. Hell dodge yeah. tough. Yep. Hell, American Steel. Well, I like to see you, brothers. Yeah, brother. this. Hell yeah, Hell brother. Hell yeah, brother. Well, uh, welcome to the city, my man. How's, uh, you know, how's your first couple days here? Or, you know, night or day? How you liking it? A little too liberal for my taste, but I tell you what, I'll get used to it. Yep, it's like everybody does. Dispatch 307, show me uh, 10 a 10-8. Any current active situations? Did you hear him? Did he say we had any actives? Well, I don't know what channel you're on there, brother. Got to be on radio channel one. 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 Radio channel one. I just joined radio channel one. 